pre-ride show at the Belgian Waffle Ride presented by Envy. And we got lucky enough to have the king of gravel himself, Ted King, <laughs> has arrived. All right? Very happy to be here. Thanks Welcome. for having me, Joy. Thank yeah. you. You have a long history with the Belgian Waffle Ride. Yes, uh, I've been second on the podium behind someone you know very well. I did. Uh, I did I've know been, that guy. I've been third. I've been considerably further back. And so that top spot is eluding me. And, oh. and I'm excited to give it a try again. You're on some pretty good form. You, Hope so. I think so. You had a tricky spring. Indeed. Uh, yes, I did, in fact, break my collarbone. Yeah. Uh, broke it early, no, late May. Okay. Early May, Early, okay. and then one month later, not even, four weeks, four and a half weeks later, I raced uh, Unbound, which was a good pat on the back. It was good, yeah. good verification that the form was good, so, you know, you just got to trust in the process. So the Unbound, you finished top five, correct? Correct, yeah, I finished fourth there, okay. and I went into that saying, if I finish top 50, I would be yes. happy. I mean, yeah. that was a stacked field, yeah. but, yeah, the form was there. Uh, experience, much like here, I think, does pay off, so, yeah. you know, there are... There's some there's some horsepower that I'm not gonna be able to match. Right. Uh, there are just there are guys who are literally racing in the world tour, and, <laughs> and they train and focus on cycling in a larger capacity than I do, and, and bigger than a lot of people will. But it's right. not always the most horsepower that wins a race. And it's great, Ted. You know, obviously you understand that a lot of other people don't embrace that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, having that calmness is probably really helpful out on the course. Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, it's this is such a great course because. You know, it lends to roadies, it lends to uh, professional mountain bikers, cyclocross racers, and certainly gravel riders. And as much as there is change year to year, knowing the key points uh, is something that I definitely have experience in. Yeah. Um, you know, I certainly live 3,000 miles away, so it's not literally in my backyard, but having the experience of knowing these, some of these sectors is, is key. Well, and I think you're, you've always kind of been a student of the sport. Yep. And you and you and your wife, Laura King, who wasn't able to come this time because you, you guys are working on so many things in cycling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? That you, as a family, have made it such a priority to maintain your training mm -hmm. and make sure. I, I read some things, you know, like, hey, we're going to grandma's house. I'm going to drive half the way yeah. and then I'll pick you up on the bike. <laughs> like, that's, that's, that's ingenuity at its best. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, necessity is the mother of all invention. And so we're creating ways to figure out how to fit it in. We still love, we love riding. It's part of our life. It is certainly, you know, I'm a professional cyclist at the end of the yeah. day, as much as I retired from the World Tour. Laura, uh, she, she's always worked in the industry. She's incredibly fast right now. We recently decided that she's going to race Leadville, which is really exciting. Cool. Um, but yeah, she's not here because we're on this quick whirlwind trip uh, in two weeks from today, in fact, is our event, Rooted Vermont. Awesome. So she's at home. She's with Hazel. This was a quick in-out trip yeah. for me. Um, but yeah, we... we it takes the creativity. It takes open conversation, as as you know well. I mean, yeah. how to how to fit it in as a growing family. Yeah, it's awesome, and it's so cool. It's inspiring to see that. And Rooted Vermont is something that you have been passionate about. Yeah. For a while. How many years has the event been running? Um, first one was 2019. Uh, sold out. Lickety split. Obviously, 2020 was a bit of a, a deferral year. Yeah. And so yeah, we're going in on our second edition, third year. Um, Laura and our our other co uh, co event manager. Chris and Motley just held a hundred woman, hundred person women's clinic, um, three day event. It was sort of a, a rough draft for the big show that, you know, it was going to be a thousand person event Wow. early August. It's so, you know, I, I was there with Hazel to show off Hazel for five yeah. minutes. <laughs> it's empowering to see yeah. that. It's so yeah. exciting. Um, you know, all skill levels, you have literally professional cyclists and, and people who are riding a bike for the first time over 10 miles. Um, That's cool. It's such a... Yeah, it like warms my heart to see that, and and you know, more people that we can get on a bike yeah. is only a good thing. And to see that in pockets, obviously you're a Vermont native, mm -hmm. and bringing that to your home state, mm -hmm. and and then um, opening up that pathway for so many people is really cool. Yeah. Now your shirt is cool as well. Did Thank you. Make you. This? No, now I haven't done any tie dyeing myself lately, but I thought this was a very fitting shirt to bring because a Saris is a sponsor of mine, okay. and b I got this shirt at a Saris event in San Diego two years ago, okay. and I was like. Okay, this isn't the kind of shirt that I wear every day. Uh, I don't wear this to the office, but if ever I'm going to wear it, then why not at a cycling event in San Diego? The BWR party shirt. Exactly. It's it's easy to point out. I say, hey, folks, I'm uh, at so-and-so location. I'm the guy wearing the tie-dye. That's true. And you're going to start making tie-dye with your daughter, Hazel. Absolutely. I see it oh, on the horizon. Guaranteed. Yeah. And dress her in it, because then you can spot her at these uh -huh, events. Uh -huh. See her far away. I love it. Tie-dye dresses. I mean, she's got a really cool dress that, that has bikes all over it, naturally. 
Not, of but yeah, course. we got to get that same pattern in white and then give it a tie-dye. It'll be fun. But nice. Ted, it's always great to talk to you. And I, I know you're so humble, um, but your legs are not as humble. <laughs> your legs, <laughs> you're one of the athletes that we always, you always just talk with your legs, right? And, and you're gonna, it. you're gonna put it out there on the course, mm -hmm. and you're gonna encourage those around you as you're doing it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we can't see how it shakes out on Sunday. Absolutely, I'm really excited. I mean, yeah, like you know, you hit that first sector, you got to jump a curve. If you don't do that first sector well, you know, you're going backwards, yeah. and yeah. suddenly a thousand people have gone by you, and you still, you, know, you got to embrace the event. Right. You're there for the people. You're there for the event. You're there for the camaraderie, the warmth, and so yeah, anything can happen. I'm yeah. excited, Joy. I thank you very much for having me. And yeah, we'll, you're welcome. Well, here's to a great weekend. Good luck, and don't forget, check out Root of Vermont. Maybe you'll go next year. Rootofvermont.com. Perfect timing with this. Yeah. <laughs>